A glittering occasion. It is the final, but only one side can emerge victorious. Who's it going to be? Stay with us, live coverage right here on EA TV. After plenty of pre-match anticipation, the wait is finally over. My name is Derek Ray, I'm joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a spectacular final. It is Rennes against Paris Saint-Germain. The instructions will have been clear from the managers, Derek. A glorious chance! Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Not the best challenge, free kick. clearance that was needed Gonzalo Ramos feeding it through and the keeper to the rescue well he takes some beating that's for sure it really is a top class save over it comes. A really good header, but the goalkeeper there's a cover up. And the PSG corner. And a goal! I tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. 2-0 now, and back underway. Amin Guiri. Now plays with a positional sense that is second to none. What to like about that pass? of ground to cover, splendid save Enzo Lefe clean emerging of wasted possession good determination and the challenge a throw in here Attacking very much an option. Well, it 
looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Ramush. Mukiele. Opportunity. It was on its way in. And a simple clearance, a good one. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. Hernandez. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. And plenty of scope to be created in that wide position. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Gonzalo Ramos. Oh, he looks threatening. Can they convert? Well, misfiring without any shadow of a doubt. Ball from the keeper, and they'll come again. And with that, the first half draws to a close. So underway once again, and still reflecting on a sumptuous first-half performance from Paris Saint-Germain. Arno Calimuendo. Decent looking pass, and they deal with the threat this time. The Europa League semi final second leg, a lot to look forward oh, to. Oh, what a chance this is, Derek! And a goal to seal the hat trick! A master class in finishing, just can't stop him today! Well, just look at how poor the defending is here, but I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. The ball is rolling once more. PSG dominant, and it's starting to get out of hand, you just feel. Nordi Mukiele. And he's lost custody of the ball here. And... Inches away, didn't miss by very much at all. Substitution it is for PSG. Well, there's an example of how to press high up. Rafa Mia. And there's the feed into the box. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Oh, the threat is there. Well, it was a terrific piece of play. That was until we got to the finishing part. Well, as you said, great counter-attack, but a wayward finish in the end. Good to watch, though. Jimenez. Distributing it well. Simple for the keeper. Amin Gouiri. He's given us away. And the advantage is with PSG. Fabian. Nice weight on the pass. Well, going for power, but what can you say about it, really? Not great. Benjamin Bourijot. Good technique displayed. But really sticking to the task defensively. Ten minutes to go. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. 
PSG couldn't keep the ball. Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. And Clerk. And Ren struggling to keep possession here. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Hernandez delivered into the area here looked to me like a good cross but fine goalkeeping and it's all over it is a story of silverware secured they've done it they certainly have and they deserve to do it as well they were the better team today they were absolutely excellent and now it's all about enjoying these very special celebratory moments well, just look at the joy on these players' faces. Absolutely incredible. And now they prepare to walk together in anticipation of the trophy presentation. Well, it's now just beginning to sink in. They are the winners of this great cup. Any second now, they'll be able to hold this a lot. Congratulating each other, and rightly so. The sweet taste of success. And they don't want to let go of that trophy, do they? Absolutely not. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been brilliant throughout the tournament. Been a top-class performance from them and their fans. to the entire team and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy they've been brilliant in this competition and so have the fans they've really got behind their team they've played a big part in this win just look at those faces in the crowd great stuff They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans and these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time and now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren. Just a couple of questions for you. Thank you for your time.
The pre-match focus on Kylian Mbappe. He's been in terrific form as evidenced by four goals in three games. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. And the floodlights are shining down on the players here in the Spanish capital of Madrid. We're at the Bernabeu. I'm Derek Ray and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And what we have to look forward to is the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. It's Real Madrid against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Derek, PSG did all the hard work in that first leg. They now need to back it up with another solid display. This won't be easy for them. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, it's a 4-4-2, but it does look as though they're going to play a diamond in midfield. So it's important that they control that. Mbappé! Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Great effort to keep that one in play. Modric. Garcia. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Well, considering the form book, Stuart, Kylian Mbappe has got to be taken seriously here. Well, he's a good all-round player when he's close. And it's come off the keeper! Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Courtois. Perfect challenge. Oh, this is looking promising. Immobile. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Marco Asensio. Nice looking pass. Real chance. And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker, and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. We're back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Valverde. The ball with Luka Modric. Really getting stuck in. Good ball over the top. So a throw in for Real Madrid. Fran Garcia. Vinicius Junior. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Trying to find the right angle of attack. Or putting it wide. And a big moment because the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty coming up. And there it is. Perfectly executed. Underway again here on the back of that leveler. Marco Asensio. And beating the defender. And he's broken free. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And the finish is so clinical. He just rolls it past the keeper. Cool as you like. Well, as they kick off again, 
2-1 the current state of affairs Bellingham and that is that half time here in the Spanish capital Second half excitement to come, we hope, here at the Bernabeu. Valverde. And on to Bellingham. Is this the moment? Well, misfiring without any shadow of a doubt. Minge. More action from Liga coming your way. It's Paris Saint-Germain facing Toulouse. Well, that should be a really good game. But... Between two entertaining teams in a great stadium. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Aurelien Chouameni. A very effective challenge put in. Is it going to be? Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Jude Bellingham. Garcia not too fussy in clearing his lines Soler well putting it wide from there disappointing and they're making a change Prahim. And playing it to the goalkeeper. And the referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. Hakimi. Now with Soler. Oh, that's a super ball over the top. And a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. And he finds the net. No difficulties encountered. Here it is again, and it can be a risky penalty, but he hits it straight down the middle. The goalkeeper goes one way, the ball goes through the middle. Excellent finish. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Brahim. Not a great pass. Fabian. Takes it off. Oh, so near, off the post. Well, threat over for now. Courtois. Bellingham. And take it away. He won the ball. Oh, nice ball over the top. The verdict is offside here. Federico Valverde. Five minutes left. Rudiger. They might see the wide route as a fruitful one, PSG. And he cuts in from the wing. Can he put it away? Just failing to hit the target. Good effort, though.
A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Decent looking pass. Sound piece of goalkeeping. And now it is all over. Paris Saint-Germain have made it through to the Champions League final. Well, those celebrations will be going on for a long time now because they know just how good they've been over the two legs. They'll certainly fancy their chances in the final if they play like that. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority in attack, Stuart. Yeah, he had a good game today and, of course, took his penalty well. He had a big influence on the result. Match the style, know the foul. Ain't no way to fight getting down. Low key fast. The one that they win, we send them out. Not many of the city.